First question is from Heidi Lynn Swisher. How do you do drop sets properly? Ah, good old drop sets, otherwise known as strip sets. This is where you do as many reps as you can with a particular weight. Then it's called a drop set because you would put the weight down or drop it, grab a lighter pair of dumbbells or lighter weight, and then right. squeeze out more reps. Down. And then you go down and, and you can do this, you know, two or three, four times. Some people do it more than that. Well, they'll, they'll do down the ladder or they'll go all the way down the dumbbell rack. Um, I mean, the proper way to do a, a, a drop set, first of all, form is absolutely crucial yeah. with any set, but especially with drop sets because drop sets are intensity based. Uh, like I explained, you know, if you're doing as many reps as you can with, let's say, 30 pound dumbbells, and then you, you know, you get to the 10th rep and you know you can't perform an 11th rep, then you put them down and you get the 20 pound dumbbells, you'll get another three or four reps out. And so form is very, very important. And the one tip I have for drop sets is to drop the weight a little more than you think when you yeah. when you go from one weight to the other. I, I The mistake I would usually make as a kid would be I'd go down five pounds, mm -hmm. which only gets you like a rep. Yeah. So I figured, you know, a, a bigger drop allowed me to squeeze out more reps. Um, it's an intensity technique. It's great for an incredible pump. It's not something I would do on a consistent basis, though. And I would save this for more for advanced uh, lifters. Yeah, I'd save it for advanced or I'd save it for a hypertrophy phase of your programming, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. like a phase three in a lot of our programs, um, I wouldn't be doing it in a strength phase. And I do think that that's the most common mistake when you see somebody doing a drop set is they, they drop down to a weight they can still do, but then their form kind of goes out the window. Yeah. So it's like kind of defeating the purpose. Uh, if you're Especially if you're trying to target a specific muscle or get a pump in a specific muscle, to not drop it enough weight that you can still concentrate on that muscle. So I agree. I think that's the the one rule I would say as far as the time and uh, like uh, the actual percentage of the load. Like I think that's just going to depend on the person. And yeah. I don't think it's that uh, we're splitting hairs a difference. If it's a 15 second or a 30 second difference between getting it, it's you're going to yeah. if you do three or four or five drop sets in a row, like you're going to get a pump. You oh, know, man. Yeah. I can't imagine doing this a bunch of times. <laughs> like it's no. definitely something you just do occasionally for fun more than anything. I mean, we used to do, it just kind of reminds me of some of these old techniques, like even the 21s and all these, oh, yeah. you know, fun type of like hypertrophy um, type of uh, techniques and exercises to throw in, but it's, it can get sloppy and get away from you really quick. That's exactly what happened. Conscious as, of it. as a kid, I abused it. I did it all the time. Um, I was constant. If I do it now, it'll look like this where, um, I'm kind of rushed in my workout and I don't have a lot of time and like I so less volume more intensity yeah or yeah. like I realize like like let's say I'm, I'm you know finishing up and it's um on, on one of my last exercises I'm doing you know bench or something and I look up at the clock and I go oh shit I gotta get out of here in 10 minutes or whatever like that but I wanted to get you know a, a good lift on my bench and I just don't have the time to do five straight sets with rest periods like you know what I'll do is I'll do a drop set real quick on this and just at least get a really nice pump yeah. from it. So that's kind of how I would like insert it into my workout yeah. now. If I have the time, I'm doing a more traditional type of lift. Uh, if I was rushed for some reason, like that might be like a quick way. Yeah, to the, the benefit is you get the, the higher intensity. It's good for hypertrophy, good for the pump. Mm -hmm. You can overdo it very easily. Form is where people always screw up because the idea is to get more reps. And so you tend to see people do this and then their form starts to get sloppy. I uh, I probably do drop sets, mm, I would say twice a month, maybe at most. I almost never do drop sets with a barbell. Almost never. And, and it's yeah. mainly because barbell exercises, if I'm doing a bench press or a squat or a deadlift or overhead press, I'm not working out with other people. So it, right. that would I would have to load it with a bunch of 10s, I guess, and throw one off and throw one off and get underneath it again. I like a drop set to have really minimal rest. Yeah. Dumbbells are better. I, I get my that's three the, pairs of dumbbells yeah. and I go one, two, three. Right? That's the only instance, like I would say, you pretty much need a, a workout partner. Yes. You know, if you have a barbell and you're doing like a bench press where you're like stripping the weight off. But other than that, yeah, I, I, I probably wouldn't. Totally. Do it. And they also lend themselves a little better to single joint exercises than they do to compound lifts. I would not do a drop set for an exercise where, like, for example, with a deadlift, the difference between a safe deadlift and a bad deadlift or a dangerous deadlift is small, right? If your form is good, safe. If it's off a little bit, it can become pretty dangerous or, or risky, I should say. N Unlike single joint exercises, where if I'm doing a curl, I'm off a little bit, it's probably still safe. So I don't like to do drop sets with complex compound lifts. I like to do them typically with 
isolation, you know, single joint exercises. My favorites are like laterals. Mm. Laterals are great for a drop set. Mm. Curls are great for a drop set. Uh, cable exercises tend yeah. to be okay. Tricep push downs. Tricep press downs are good yeah. for a drop set. Um, you know, any isolation exercise in general will tend to be good with a drop set, but not heavy complex. I, I agree. Although I, the last time I did it, I actually just did it on a, a bench press. I did it on barbell, but I think something that's important too is that. So when I'm doing a drop set, I'm not so hung up on what I what I want to do rep wise, right? So if you're following like a you know you're t training ten to twelve reps, I'm not trying to do a drop set and also stay within my ten to twelve reps. I'm gonna take it to where. I've the muscle fatigue, so yes. I can't and I can't do another perfect you can't rep. Perform it well, so that's yeah. what it looks like. So I might get under like the bench, and let's say I, I, I do a set of two twenty five, and then I drop down to say like one fifty, one sixty yeah. range or whatever, and m you know maybe I get seven out, and I can already feel my form wanting to go off. Like that's it, I rack it. Yep. Like then I go, then I go drop again. Now I drop down to ninety pounds again. I'm, I'm pressing it out. Maybe I only get six of those before my form starts to go, and then I rack yeah. again. I'm not, even though I could have potentially got 10 reps, you know, but I'm going to roll my shoulder and arch my back and cheat it, cheat it up just to get it up. Mm -hmm. Like that's, I'm shutting it down before that. Yeah. So that's how I would do it. With I a, also usually don't drop down more than twice. So I have done the run the rack drop sets where mm -hmm. you're like, you're literally starting at one end of the rack and you're stepping we have down. mass PED, I believe. There is, there's yeah. a run the rack yeah. in there. Oh, yeah. But that's a, way too much for most people. Yeah. I do, I'll go, you know, from one lift, excuse me, from one weight to another weight to another weight and that's it. Yeah. It's usually three and then I'm done. Mm -hmm. I don't go uh, any more than that. But yeah, the, the pumps can be intense. It's really cool. Totally can be easily abused. And like I said, I still, I even now today, and I'm training really hard and consistent, twice a month is that the, the most that I would, you know, do them. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.